welcome to another Tweaking Your Endgame Starship. I'm Teacher Kirby. I'm standing here in Earth Space Dock. So last time, and it has been a while because I needed to grind for some things, we had generic deflector, impulse engines, uh, fleet warp core, and generic shield. Okay, so as you can see now here, I have not generic. I'm we're now looking at some reputation gear. This was from the Iconian reputation, which you can see right here, Iconian resistance, and this was from the space rep, so you can see it. Alright, yeah, where is it? There it is. So right here, deflector, warp core, engines, and shield array. So, you may be asking yourselves, okay, so why did she choose the full Iconian set? Well, there's a very good reason, and I'll show you. So, first of all, this has, and I'm going to go ahead and use the deflector array. So this has quite a good thing. It has some kinetic damage resistance, some extra shield power, some shield restoration, hull capacity, shield capacity, and even scientific readiness, meaning that my science abilities will cool down a bit faster. Not only that, there are some set bonuses. Okay, and this is just the deflector. So there are some set bonuses as well. Um, if I use distribute shields, which I don't, but some people do, and don't mind the jingling in the background, that's just the dog settling himself down. Okay, so distribute shields applies 164.1 shield regeneration for five seconds to each facing. And that goes on a 30 second cooldown once triggered. Okay, and of course that'll be greater if you have Starship Shield Restoration, if you're specced into that. Uh, if you have three pieces of the set, you get Energy Augmentation Actuator, meaning you get plus 15% all energy damage for 8 seconds to allies. Now don't forget, you are an ally. Within 10 kilometers, stacks up to 3 times. So that's plus 45% to all energy damage. Okay? Alright. So that's actually a pretty good bonus. Okay? In addition to that, with set 4 you get an activatable radiant subatomic pulse. Okay? Now the radiant subatomic pulse gives you plus 33% all damage for 30 seconds, plus 20% maximum hull for 30 seconds, plus 10% flight speed for 30 seconds. This is a team buff, so that means it affects everybody on the team, including yourself. Okay, so this is quite a nice little bonus that you get from putting this on your ship. The other thing I have done is I have completed my temporal defense uh, reputation. You see here it says tier 5. And so that has given me a lovely tier 5 active reputation called Anti-Time Entanglement Singularity. Now, it doesn't look like much because we're on the ground. Let's actually go into space here and have a look at this. Because on the ground it does not give you stats appropriate to space. Alright, so here we go. Loading into Soul System. There we go. Get rid of him. And reputation. I don't want reputation. I want traits. Okay. Traits. And so, as you can see, it does 
2810.6 physical damage for each second. Okay, this is actually quite a good little thing. You only get one chance to shoot it off, but it does give quite a decent amount of DPS in those in those few seconds. It starts at a four kilometer radius and continuously shrinks. Okay, but it does do a very good amount of damage. It is affected by exotic particle generators and by control expertise. Okay, so it is, it will do extremely well on science heavy captains that are really specced into these. All right, and so this tune, those are the final changes that I have made to this character. And there's the dog again, he's quite restless today. And I'm going to turn on the other display. I'm going to show you. So this was a parse I did. Just randomly went into an ISA with a few friends. Just the first four that said, hey, I want to go. And uh, so as you can see, the result here was 142K. This was a bit of a surprise for me. Okay. Now if we actually look a little deeper here, so you'll see quite a few things. You remember we added recursive sharing. That did quite a lot of damage. Okay. As did a few other things. This was our molecular deconstruction beam from the fact that we're running a temporal ship. We have this. Now the anti-time entanglement actually came out here under pets. It misread it, but as you can see, that did 2,041 DPS. And we only got off one shot. However, ten things were caught in that entanglement suite. Now this is with a relatively low amount of particle generators and control expertise. So you can imagine that's going to do a heck of a lot better. Let's see. Whoops. Stats. In fact, I have science. Okay. Exotic particle generators, I only have 150. So that is a pretty low amount of exotic particle generators and you can see it's doing quite a bit of damage for such a low amount of particle generators. So I would expect that on a ship that has very high particle generators this is going to be a very high number. All right, so definitely anti-time entanglement singularity. Another thing you can do to boost it is to hit your quantum singularity manipulation here, which adds 100 to all your science stats. That'll give it an extra boost if you shoot that off and then shoot your anti-time sing entanglement singularity in a large crowd of enemies. And that will work very nicely. All right, so this has been Teacher Kirby with another Tweaking Your End Game build, and I will see you next time.